Hey guys, this is Chris from Don't Have a Gift. Today we will talk about how to prep a gift in a personalized, DIY, creative or responsible way. All this in 10 rules that I just made up. Let's go! Butler? Chef? Theme song guy. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you like the site, just click on the subscribe and the like button. First rule of prepping, size. Size matters, no matter what people say. Play with the wrapping size. If it's a tiny gift, then just uh, put it in a huge box with emptiness. Or uh, you can use these, you know, these matryoshka type of dolls from Russia. Like, you can just put it in like bigger and bigger boxes. If it's a huge gift or just bigger than average, you can just hide the gift and Use the instruction materials to pack in in a small envelope like that. These little twists and the size, they, they are giving a great surprise power to the whole gift. Second rule of wrapping, form. Usually wrapping is pretty lame on the form. We are just packing everything in rectangle shaped things. Well, you can change that. Just as with the size, there are many variations what you can use. You may wrap the gift exactly the shape how it looks or you can, if it's a gadget for example, you can just separate it and pack it separately, each of them. And then the recipient has to find out what's in the gift. That's already a game itself. Or you can use old cardboard or cereal boxes to create shapes like a heart, a house or a car and that is standing out from under the Christmas tree. You can even make a little village, you know. Or if you use more flexible materials like aluminium foil, you can make exact shape, animals like a swan. Third rule of wrapping, ecologic. Just as for cardboard boxes or aluminium foil, make sure that your wrapping material is recyclable, is reused or reduced. So stop buying new wrapping paper in the groceries, use the old wrapping papers. Or if you're an extremist, you can use newspaper, magazines paper, last year's calendar or other materials what you don't use anymore. I will put also a link for Furoshiki. It seems like a Japanese tradition, which is super cute. They are using wrapping cloth to make uh, beautiful gift wrappings and it's absolutely reusable. Gift wrapping rule number four, the reusable boxes and reusable bags. Gift bags and gift boxes are an amazing way to spare some materials. A good thing about them that you can use it the next year and actually no one cares that much about reuse packing. It's also an easy way to spare money because that means that if you start this tradition in the family at some point you are not spending on wrapping anymore because you are just reusing what you already received. And honestly there are some people who are crazy about tearing up wrapped gifts. But it's a very small fraction of people, you already know them that they love it. For them you probably have to wrap in paper, for the others just give a good old reusable thing. So it's a win-win for the environment and for you as well. And I also have to add, if she can repack it in this box or bag, that means that it will be easier to carry after the holidays. Wrapping rule number five, you can DIY. You can do the wrapping yourself. If you're good at it, then you can look in the videos and online. There are very good wrapping ideas. Or if you suck at wrapping like me, then it will be meaningful. What I mean under meaningful, you can glue, for example, on an envelope like this, a photo of yours and the recipient with some heart shape, whatever, it will look lame. Yes, but people like it. A DIY wrapping is almost always a success because it implies some extra effort that you did after buying or making the gift. For example, a few years ago, I gave to my niece a shoebox full of her favorite bear-shaped chocolate. The catch? I glued a forest scenery in the inside of the box and there was an electric candle in the middle and the bear shaped chocolates were just surrounding this uh, scenery. Uh, she was enchanted, she was also four. 
Wrapping rule number six, material. Just as I said for the form and the shape, there are numerous choices that you can choose for the material. Don't just limit yourself for paper, cardboard or plastic. You can go beyond that. Give a wrapping made out of wood or metal or glass and make sure that you're buying these containers not just because they are pretty and they are nice to use as a gift wrapping. Instead of fancy glass containers and boxes, you can also just just use mason jars and uh, make them pretty. That way you can give second life to uh, various types of materials. Wrapping rule number seven, the gift itself. The gift itself can be a great idea to not wrap. Obviously there are some cases where you cannot even wrap or it's not advised. In case of a big luggage or a backpack or a car, in these cases, you can always just leave a thoughtful card inside as there are already some containers. If the recipient was asking for a phone, a notebook or a camera, then you can just leave a message inside the gadget, like uh, leave a voice or a video message. Everybody say to earth for the Lord, for the Lord is and you can just leave it on the front page so when they first open the gadget uh, it will be right there. However, I have to warn you that uh, some people don't like when you are installing their camera or their phone before they even touch it. So careful with that. The rule number eight, origami. The Japanese art of paper folding is extremely popular, very versatile, and it's a perfect idea for deciding on a wrapping to not wrap if it's a paper-based gift. It's extremely minimalist, it's good to give and super creative. So whether it's an online coupon, gift card, a love letter, uh, you can just fold it and make that the gift itself. Also if you're lost and uh, you're just planning to give money, uh, cash is also foldable very easily. And as it's extremely versatile, you can find a big variation online. The limit is only your imagination and your skills. I usually prefer animals like cats, birds, a dinosaur. How amazing is that? Wrapping rule number nine. Adventure, a treasure hunt, a gift map, a guess what, a clue about the gift to get the gift are actually great ways to skip wrapping. Create a puzzle or draw a map, show where she has to go in the house or where she has to drive to get the gift. Or just leave a clue about the gift. For example, if you are bringing her skiing, then just ski glasses are enough. Or an apron in case you bought cooking classes. Wrapping rule number 10, reuse and recycle. In the end of the gifting season, don't forget to reuse and recycle the things that are still reusable. Some parts of the wrapping will be torn up or not pretty anymore. Those you can recycle. The rest you can always reuse for the next holiday season. Deal with this holiday season so nature can celebrate too. So this was the 10 rules of gift wrapping. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, then like the video as well. Subscribe to our channel to get more information. Leave your comments what you want to hear about. And visit our site at donthaveagift.com. Make your own quiz or ask our help. And that was it. I was Chris from Don't Have a Gift. Next time I'm coming back with challenging myself with 200 gift ideas that are responsible, DIY, creative, unique and just better of what you can find right now on YouTube. See you the next time!